So here I am filming a, a cloud, filming, filming, filming for um, the lighthouse, the wonder, and the warship. These clouds I'm filming aren't like super special in, in any way. Um, but I just thought, like, I mean, it's not like Golden Arrow, I mean, but I figured it's a kind of a nice day today, and it's pretty good time to film for the evening film. I'm here in Colchester, where I've done a recce for the location, and I've done a um, call sheet as well. For, I don't know why I've done a call sheet, no one else is coming to the set except for me. But um, yeah, no, here, here I am just filming the crowds. I figured I'd go film clouds that I, that I thought looked like quite, quite godly in a way. Um, like quite epic looking where there's the mountains and the clouds and the clouds are quite and by what I mean by mountains and the clouds are not like literally mountains and culture so that's impossible but like there's mountains and the clouds as if the clouds look like mountains that's what I mean um so yeah I think the clouds I'm filming today look pretty awesome I did I said they decided there's not very special clouds because the clouds are this all the time but um yeah, just thought like today would be a good good day because it's not gonna rain today. It's not gonna like pour it down. So here's a test I done on some some Dali or Dali um, tests I done with Dali images. I used some prompts from the internet that, that are legal to use in this, so it's good. The tests I'm doing are just like steampunk looking airships really um not no, nothing truly like special looking i mean they're kind of cool but they're not officially going to be used in the production Okay, so I'm here in Cheadle now. Cheadle, Southern Trent, England. I'm at Earth, in the Milky Way, or whatever our universe is going to be called when we figure out a name for it. Um, I don't know, maybe the universe does have a name, but that's irrelevant. So I'm filming for the Lighthouse Wonder and the Warship again. And, um, yeah, I'm just like walking around about the place looking for good locations. It's more like, it's not really test shoots, it's more like test framing. Um, here we are in the clouds, and figured that shot would be used pretty. That shot should be used in the film. Um, and yeah, I'm just like pretty much just a lone wanderer, just like in the film. Just wandering the fields of England, um, looking for good places to film. My short for university. Um, I'm not entirely sure where this day is going to take me, or when it's going to end. Well, I know when the day's gonna end, it ends when the bus comes. Um, I would stay the night, but it costs like, costs like 40 pounds to stay, and I don't wanna waste any money. Uh, I've already spent some money on food and bus tickets. So I figured today would be quite a good day to film, because it's not gonna rain today, just like last time. And it's also not like, I don't know, it's just, it's just a nice day to film, really. Um, yeah, I've travelled about three hours so far, I haven't really gone very far because I'm carrying so much equipment, but it's quite a nice looking location, I'd say, um, I'm not sure if any of the shots are going to be used in the film, it's just more like just B-roll. I've some rabbits as well, around the area. Not sure if I'm going to use the shots in the film of the rabbits. So I'm shooting on the telephoto lens very, very far away, so I don't disturb them because they're incredibly shy creatures. Um, but yeah, I found also found a canopy that looked like a rabbit as well, which was kind of interesting, though very irrelevant. Um, so yeah, I'm just capturing some B-roll from the film, just so I can use it as the character's going on an adventure. It took me about four or three minutes to get it to the point of this adventure that I'm going on today. 
I'm not sure why it took me three minutes to explain that, but I just did. Um, so yeah. I need to um, go back here for a telephoto lens and film this shot on a telephoto lens instead of a 24mm lens because apparently this was a shit idea and I wasted lots of money on this. Um, well, this is like £15, but <laughs> I need to get that shot. But if we go too far to the hill, I lose the perspective and it's like really annoying. Probably not even focus on this. Here I am back in Gorchester again. <coughs> Here I am back in Gorchester again. This is a shot I'm going to use. Well, not this shot. And this is a tree I'm going to use the location I'm done the reckoning for and a call sheet for and researched for um, so I can use it in film. It's the scene where the character leaves a bike road by the tree because the road's getting really faint. Um, it's quite a nice location. And it's also the tree that's like this past. It, but the audience doesn't know that, so it doesn't matter. Um, it's just a very nice location. It's got loads of me, like, it's very dynamic. It's got so many ways I can shoot. So many different I don't know how to explain it really. It's got so many different angles I can shoot at. Um and you can't really tell if you're not an active member of the current production crew. I mean not an active member. If you're not a member of the actual filming crew, you wouldn't tell. You'd be able to know the location can be used twice. So I've used the location about three times and two different scenes. Um, so you, yeah. I'm just running about Colchester again. The fields at Summer House go for miles, so I pretty much just like walk about the place two or three times. Um, I'm just trying to get some good shots to use in the film and just doing some B roll for the documentary as well. I'm not really sure what else to say really. Just trying to get the aesthetic of the film down to a T. Also, I figured it would be a good idea to go out every day as much as possible um, and, and just film whenever, really. Okay, so I've got to reshoot this because I wasn't in focus last time. It's really annoying. Um, so it's day three of test shoots, technically. Um, not really test shoots, it's more like test frame. But uh, I'm really exhausted. I already said that. I just have to reshoot this. I wasn't in focus last time. Um, this place is gorgeous and I love building it. It's a nice place to be in. The leaves full of the trees and everything. It's really nice. Um, it's actually quite good. Unload. It's the B word. Some of it's the B word. It's some some B word. Some B word. 
here, although perhaps it's just because I haven't been here many times. The weather's not really the best, but I don't know, this place has just like got very nice views. Um, I've always got the shot I need to get. Um, it's around the corner, which is really exciting. Um, um, so, yeah. Can't believe I didn't shoot this. I don't quite professional ones. Hopefully this goes well. Um, what else to say? I'm just gonna shoot the scene now. This area, I'll pay you when I have money. There's a horse. So yeah, I've run on the forest back here. And um yeah, it suits the vibe quite well. It's quite a windy really day today. Okay, so I came in today and the bus took too long, so I learned out of daylight and I've run out of like pretty much every single aspect I needed to film, except for the camera and some street lights. Um, so I can't film the location um, because it's too dark. Um, I can't stay here because it'll cost me forty pounds just for one night. Um, so I'm gonna go back home. Uh, uh, and I know what I want with this film, but the weather doesn't allow me to capture what I want. It's a bit bullshit. Um, the Kingfisher leaves at six thirty-seven at the earliest. So I capture that bus. Wake up at five a.m. I'll be able to film as much of this location as possible and charge my batteries as well because they're pretty much all dead now. Um, I've almost planned this day perfectly. Perfectly. I almost planned this day pretty well. But um, it turned out to be a joke. I'm sure, that came out really, really well. I need to spend a day in this location. I need to this place like the back of my hand. So I need to spend an entire day here knowing every single nook and cranny of this entire area and every single place I can set up a shot. So if I come here at 6.37, I'll get here, no I'll take the bus at 6.37, I'll probably get here about like half 7. Um, spend at least 12 hours around this location without a camera, or well, with the camera but not the camera bag because it's too heavy. Um, although it would be really good if I brought that food and I carried the camera bag with me. Okay, so back to Cheadle. Um, here I am on the bus, the Cheadle. I'm gonna film some more B-roll today. The locations here look really nice. There's like sun rays, godlike sun rays, um, hitting the fields and like for miles on end. Um, no, I can't use your shots in the film, obviously. I'd like to, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm around to film the buses actually. It might be illegal. I've done some illegal things today. Um, I've done some illegal things in my life, but filming a bus might be the worst. 
um, yeah. So I decided to do some tons and tons and tons of B-roll today because the sun the sun is like hitting the earth and the bloody clouds look really nice as well. The sun's hitting the earth in a really weird way today. So we've got sun rays and like you've got clouds giving the earth shadows. Um, but you've also got the sun coming out in like different parts of the like with the sun with the with the clouds burst where the clouds like creak and the cracks of the clouds wherever, wherever it's called. Um, and that's just looks really nice on camera. So I've decided to um, yeah, I just decided to film tons of things today. Um, this is the location I've kept my equipment in. It's a small canopy, it's safe. I've not moved far from it as well. It's just my bag and the camera equipment's with me. Yeah, so this is like pretty much perfect for me. It's just a, a bit of a bitch carrying all the equipment up here. I want to carry a... God, what do I want to bring up here? Handheld rig, audio equipment, uh, the Blackmagic 6A Pro. Um, that's really all I need to bring up here, to be honest. Just to film the rest of the B-roll and the rest of the footage. I'm not actually filming anything with me in it. That's all. It's going to be filmed in another day. Um, I've done filming for Culture Still with me in it, though. I've shown that in the previous minutes of, minutes of the documentary. Um, hopefully this documentary is even useful. I'm about to show some more concepts. Um, concept art. I poured quite a lot into this B-roll documentary, whatever it's called. It's not really B-roll. There's some of me filming the actual film in it. I can't really film myself filming the film because I'm filming it on my own. But yeah, this is the end of the documentary. There's just some content out at the end.